Prince Harry warned against monetizing Invictus Games for Netflix I'm uncomfortable. Prince Harry has been warned against monetizing the Invictus Games following the announcement that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will produce a series on the competition for Netflix. Lowry Turner told Channel 5's Jeremy Vine program that she felt uncomfortable at the thought of Prince Harry monetizing the Invictus Games. Ms. Turner also mocked the Duke of Sussex's press release announcing the Netflix series, stating he had gone full Californian. Ms. Turner said, the money that he is going to be paid for this both as a presenter and as an executive producer, is that going back into the foundation of the Invictus Games or are they making a profit? In which case, that would be, monetizing the Invictus Games, I am quite uncomfortable with, that. Although. He has only got £30 million left and he needs the money. She added, the other bit which made me smile so much is the press release they put out about this, it talks about inspiring global healing. He has gone full Californian on this, they do not teach that sort of language at Eton. In the press release announcing the move, Prince Harry said, since the very first Invictus Games back in 2014, we knew that each competitor would contribute in their own exceptional way to a mosaic of resilience, determination and resolve. This series will give communities around the world a window into the moving and uplifting stories of these competitors on their path to the Netherlands next year. As Archeal Productions first series with Netflix, in partnership with the Invictus Games Foundation, I couldn't be more excited for the journey ahead or prouder of the Invictus community for continuously inspiring global healing, human potential and continued service. In February 2021, Piers Morgan denounced the Duke of Sussex's decision to sign a deal with Netflix after seeing the backlash sparked by the company's series on the royal family. Mr Morgan said, if you're making $100 million from Netflix, who by the way has just invaded your own family's life in Harry's case more than anyone in history with the crown. And you take $100 million from the company that has just trashed your own family, then you claim to be the prince of privacy, do me a favor. Last year following the fourth season of The Crown being released on Netflix, Prince Charles and Camilla were forced to turn off comments on their social media after they suffered a despicable backlash. Royal commentator Rachel Bowie told the Royally Obsessed podcast, It is awful that Charles and Camilla have had to turn off social media commenting because of the backlash. Seeing that and how it plays out, I think it is despicable. The Economist wrote regarding the Netflix series, All drama that involves real people is, to some extent, fiction. When Charles and Diana stared into each other's eyes and realized it was over, no one else was in the room where it happened. If those being portrayed are dead, decently behaved and unimportant, nobody cares what lines script writers make up for them. But if they are alive, adulterous and the heir to the throne, things are bound to get sticky. social media commenting because of the backlash. Seeing that and how it plays out, I think it is despicable. The Economist wrote regarding the Netflix series, all drama that involves real people is, to some extent, fiction. When Charles and Diana stared into each other's eyes and realized it was over, no one else was in the room where it happened. If those being portrayed are dead, decently behaved and unimportant, Nobody cares what lines script writers make up for them. But if they are alive, adulterous and the heir to the throne, things are bound to get sticky.